everyone. Welcome to another edition of Smoke News. We've got tons in store for you today, including details of a very special new event coming your way very soon from the one and only Smoke TV. Kicking things off, last Thursday, university professors went on strike, causing classes to be cancelled across the UK. It reached home and it affected lots of students here at Westminster. Abdul Qasim reports. The University of Westminster, Regent Street. On a usual Thursday afternoon, this campus would be busting with students. But on Thursday, the 31st of October, this wasn't the case. Thousands of university staff up and down the country went on strike to campaign against large cuts to their pay, support by unions. Our pay has been cut by 13% over the last five years. And while this has been going on, the higher education sector in Britain is sitting on a surplus of about £10 billion. Uh, my colleagues are here with me today. We're doing joint action, UCU and Unison. And we also have some support from some students here at Regent. I came here to support lecturers and academic staff because I think it's really unfair that their workload is, keeps increasing and increasing while their salaries are going down. The senior managers have been awarding themselves pay rises over the last few years, whereas lecturers have had their pay cut by 13%. And so we're asking our Vice-Chancellor, Geoffrey Petz, to speak to the group that arranges pay and to ask them to give us a decent pay for the work that we do. A university representative has released the following statement in response to the strike. 1.8% of staff informed us of their intention to take industrial action. Our overall assessment is that impact on services was minimal. We are very grateful to those staff that ensured services continued as normal or where reduced provided quality service to our students. All services, faculty support, PDC opening hours and counter services operated as normal. Some calls from concerned students were taken asking if classes were still going ahead. No complaints or inquiries from students have been reported, suggesting that students were informed about which learning events were happening and where. University lecturers say they don't want to disrupt education in this way. However, if the university won't listen, further action might have to be taken. And with students paying three times more than previous years, is this something they can afford to let happen? Students are eventually going to be taught by a bunch of lecturers who are underpaid, undervalued, exhausted, uh, overworked, um, going off sick, not able to get their work done in time, and this is going to have a real knock-on effect for students. And I think students need to bear this in mind. This strike may not seem like it means anything to them, but actually it does. Because if, you're, if the lecturers don't win this strike and support staff don't win this strike, it's going to have a very, very serious effect on student experience as the years go on. Just the people that were in university a year before me, they paid two to three thousand pounds per year. I'm now on nine thousand. That makes no sense. The year hasn't been extended. Um, the quality hasn't been extended. And I'm not just speaking for this university. You can speak to many people across different universities, and they'll probably tell you the same th uh, the same thing that the quality isn't increased, but our money's gone up. Yet tutors aren't getting paid, so their quality of teaching isn't going to be any better because they're probably thinking, why am I here? You've got to do something about the fees. You've got to do something about uh, tutors' pay. And you've got to be more transparent about where the money's going. Lectures have now returned to normal, but it looks like this issue will need to be addressed in the near future to avoid further action. This is Kassim reporting for Smoke News. Hopefully everyone used their day to their advantage. Who doesn't need an extra day during the semester? More time to spend in your onesie, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Now, a major competition which has recently been launched by a brother from another mother, the QH, calling all graphic designers of Westminster. They need you. Yes, you. If you think you've got what it takes to give the QH a transformation, then get your design to the email address below by the 27th of November. All entries will be judged by editor of Creative Review, Patrick Burgon, and the winner's design will be used for all editions next semester. What a good thing to have on your CV. Indeed. Now, to the Student Radio Awards. The show was held at the Indigo 2 last week, where Smoke Radio's Miri Green is running for gold. Go Smoke! Let's see how they did. We're here at the Indigo 2 in the O2 for the Student Radio Association Awards 2013. Greg James is here. <laughs> She's a mess, it's brilliant. The students have just arrived for dinner. We've been here all day setting up cameras, pointing cameras, setting up wires. What have you been doing? They gave me a headpiece, they took the headpiece away. I set up a photo booth and then broke the photo booth. Um, they then made me sit in the, on a chair in the corner for the next like two hours. Okay, she's going to keep doing that. Uh, and in the meantime, Smoke Radio are up for one award tonight. It's very exciting. So let's go and check it out. Vegas style. But down here with the guys now, 
now. They're just about to numb on some food. I managed to grab Miri for a quick chat. You're up for an award. I am. How are you feeling at this moment in time? I'm a bit apprehensive, not going to lie. I've been nominated for Best Beach Programming um, for a feature I made called A Seaside Town. Yeah, and uh, there's about six other people in the, in the nominations. It's quite scary. Well, competition. So I'm backstage and I have managed to track down the legend that is Steve Lamac. How are you doing? How was, how was the evening for you? It was very good. It was really interesting, you know, as um, all these um, student radio awards are, because you find uh, people that they are probably the future of radio. You have all the capacity to do anything you want to do on student radio. And it's the most liberating, probably, radio that you'll ever do, I think. So I started out um, on LSR, which is Leeds Student Radio, um, and I produced the breakfast show there, and then I presented the breakfast show, and then I was a deputy station manager there. And then after that, I started working uh, for Global, um, and then moved down to London to uh, work on the Capital Network, and we've just launched Capital Extra as well. Um, so yeah, but I started out at Student Radio, and, and without Student Radio, I wouldn't be doing the job I'm doing right now. The big dog himself, Mr. Tim Westwood. How are you doing? How was the yeah, show? Very good, man. We just uh, did the sound clash, did our thing. You know what I mean? We was up against uh, Danny Howard. Very we did good. Sing, thing, thing. I mean, to be honest, my attitude towards it was just to have some fun. So, you know, who won, who lost doesn't really matter to me. It's just nice to be on that stage, ripping it down for the Student Radio Award. Dev from Radio One, hello. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> a little bit merry. I'm quite merry. Uh, today is a beautiful celebration of people who are going to potentially take my job in the near future. So, uh, why not join them, eh? That's what I say. So the SRA's are all over. We're all heading home. Cabs are ready. People jumping in them. Westwood's already got in his taxi. He's off. I'm finishing off my drink. It's brilliant. But a huge well done to all of the winners tonight, everybody nominated, in particular, Mary Green for a Smoke Radio for getting a bronze. Good stuff. Really incredible stuff. So, I guess that's it. See you next year. Go on, Miri. What a result. It was a bad, a great night. Next up are your studies, mate. Can you take life a bit too seriously? In need of a bit of a laugh? Then head on down to the old cinema for this Thursday from 7pm for the Rag Society's Comedy Gala. Comedy for a course. Headliner Craig Murray is one of the hottest rising talents on the comedy circuit and will be joined by a whole, whole host of communicable Jesuses with food and drink thrown in too. Tickets are just £5 for students and proceeds will go towards the wonderful Dig Deep charity. You'd be silly to miss out. It should be a right laugh. <laughs> now, although that didn't make it down to Smoke TV's first big debate of what's the semester, boy, did you miss out. Journalist Harry Fear came all the way down to London to chair the discussion on freedom of speech and the press. On this week's big debate, we had a pretty lively discussion about um, press freedom, uh, you know, the press's mistakes, you know, with the paparazzi and all of this sort of stuff. Generally, the audience um, uh, accepted that the press or parts of the press or mi minority of the press had gone too far. Um, generally, there was a consensus among even the panelists that there shouldn't be regulation uh, by the government itself. And that was very important. We also uh, learned that uh, people have different opinions about what is a journalist and also what constitutes news in the 21st century in Britain. I mean, we, we talked about what is a journalist uh, and with the social media and with the social news, uh, how this uh, you know, impacts the debate on press regulation. Thank you to the team for another fantastic debate. We certainly learned a lot about freedom of speech. Yes, we did. And if you missed out, don't worry, because you can catch the whole thing on Smart TV right now. And next on the live list for our crew is a very special edition of Question Time, which your elected sabbatical officers are involved in. The event is free to all, so bring your questions and suggestions along on Monday the 18th of November. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook page for full details. And earlier we mentioned an exciting upcoming new event from Smoke TV. Wait, is that, is that what I think, is it, is it? Ah, uh, we're not giving anything away just yet. We'll have to give it to you to Smart TV to find out what it's all about. Look at excited crit at Christmas. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, it's time for my favourite part of the show. Michael, what's in store today? Hey guys, you are now watching Triple F on Smoke TV. We aim to bring you some of the best entertainment news. Never before has animated film about Thanksgiving been released in time for the holidays. However, that is all about to change. 
Freebirds, set for release by the end of the month, is about two willful turkeys traveling back in time to change the fate of all turkey kind. Voiced by Woody Harrelson and Owen Wilson, we have a duo that play complete polar opposites to each other that make for some cheap laughs about the big guy and the little guy. Providing some good comedy with some cheap angry bird jokes, this is definitely a movie you want to watch with your younger siblings. All right, so we got some big, big news for all you Star Wars fans out there. They are now having open auditions for two of the main roles in the new Star Wars series. The casting selections will start later this week at locations around the UK and Ireland, including London, Dublin, and Glasgow. So if any of you guys feel like you can fill a role like that, you should definitely go check out the auditions. Our second film is called The Counselor. Now this movie has a star-studded cast of Michael Fassbender, Brad Pitt, Penelope Cruz, and Cameron Diaz that definitely offers a bit of sex appeal. The opening scene involves Michael and Penelope laying in bed after a session. However, ratings online have been a bit low. The basic plot of this movie is Michael, also known as The Counselor, goes to Amsterdam to buy an engagement ring from a diamond dealer. This leads to further criminal involvement as he gets roped into a drug deal. This movie has all the usual shootouts, car chases and love scenes. And I can tell you right now, the scene where Penelope Cruz is getting ravished in bed is by far my favorite part. This was Triple F with me, Michael Alvin, and make sure if you like the movies we're talking about, post in the comments below. See you later. Thanks, Michael, for your insight. We have been taking notes and we'll be putting your review to the test this weekend. And finally, Spoke Sports has officially launched. Check out facebook.com slash smokesportshd for the pilot episode. And remember, the show needs content to continue. So if you're a dragon, not a real one, although that would be so cool, then get your phones out and get recording. Oh, Reese, a blackberry? Seriously? No. That's all we have time for this week. I've been Grace. And I've been Reese. And, and you've been watching, watching Smoke, Smoke News. News. We hope you enjoyed your chicken treats. Don't forget to check us out in two weeks. Woo.